Welcome back this is Havana Media and my name is Bonface Bueno and as usual I'm going to be your host for today. I just want to give I just want us to talk briefly about the doctor's strike. Now, uh today I was I was watching a session in a parliament whereby uh, Sifuna was was really furious about uh, Sakaja talking about Mama Lucy, Mama Lucy Hospital containing a lot of a lot of patients saying that there's a, a very good treatment in Mama Lucy and anyone who is sick should run to Mama Lucy. But uh, uh, before before doing this video, I contacted one of one of the Mama Lucy doctors, a very good friend of mine, and uh, he was telling me that uh, uh, those people are lying. And uh, until there will be an agreement between the government and uh, the doctors, that is the KM, uh, the, the, the so-called KMPDU union, that is when doctors will resume to work. Now, this is just why doctors are in strike, are on strike. I was trying to inquire from him that, bro, why are you on strike? And I was telling me that uh, we are on strike because uh, this, the government has refused to post the 3,000 interns who are supposed to help Kenyans. And he was telling me that this thing started back in 2027. I remember back in 2027, there's this, uh, this doctor, this, uh, the, the leader of uh, KMPDU by the name Olunga by the name Dr. Uma Olunga, who was arrested. And that was that marked the end of the strike after Olunga was arrest, arrested. That is when the doctors cooled down. But this time around, they are saying that they will not cool down. I remember uh, there's something that uh, CS Nakumich have said, that until our members are posted, until the people that want to be posted are posted, that is when we'll end the strike. But if the, if the government refuse to hear our cry, people will continue dying, I will continue to be on strike. But now what, what shocks me is that during the campaign of President William Ruto and the government, the current government, there is something that President William Ruto said, uh, talked about on uh, UHC. Government, all Kenyans acquire quality health care through UHC. But now things have turned. But now the doctors have refused. They are saying that they will not go back to work until the government does what they say they will do by posting the 3,000 interns who are supposed to help Kenyans. I want to play a video. I want to, I want to play a video of Sifuna, very furious about what Sakaja is talking about, uh, the treatment that is going on in Mamalusi. And then at the end of the, uh, at the end of, uh, after watching this video, I would like you to give me a comment in the comment section and tell me what you're thinking. By, but on my view, I think that now there is somewhere that the government is failing because there is no way you can promise to do things to other to, to Kenyans. And then at the end of the day, you come to fail. And we all know very well that now the doctors are the people who have got li people's lives in their hands. Now look at it right now. People are dying. However much we try to do what people are really dying. The only people that can the, the, the only way to solve all this th this death issue is by doing what the doctors want. The doctors don't even want uh, an increment of money. They don't want, even want an increment of their salary. But what they want is that uh, this, the, the, these interns be posted. There are only three thousand. The demand the only demand for three thousand interns to be posted. So that at least there will they, 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 they can be increase in number of doctors to help them. But now the government is refusing to do that, claiming that the, the doctors that are in, that are doing, the, that, that are in, can do the, the, the work. Now, I just want to give you, that, that is my thought, I just want to give you time at the comment section so that you can also tell me what is your, th what, what, what do you think the government should do to ensure that the, there's peace between them and the doctors. And then also, we can, we, we can meet on the next video if it is possible. My name is Bonfils Owino. Bye-bye. Sifuna. Uh, I thank you for that indulgence, Mr. Speaker. I wanted to make brief comments on the request for statement by uh, Senator Gloria Orwoba on the bed capacity at uh, Mamalusi Hospital. Uh, Mr. Speaker, indeed, uh, as part of my oversight work, I have visited all the level five county hospitals. And uh, Mr. Speaker, the situation at Mamalusi is uh, quite dire. Uh, but I wanted to inform this House that uh, we have gotten quite some serious support from the Committee on Health, uh, very ably chaired by the Senator for uh, Wasingishu, uh, the Honorable Mandago. Mr. Speaker, in fact, this committee has helped us so much uh, to, read a, to reach a resolution to expand the county's capacity to uh, uh, treat Nairobians by reaching an agreement with the national government to hand back uh, Mama Margaret Kenyatta Hospital in uh, Korogosho. Mr. Speaker, what is uh, most disheartening is that when I visited Mama Lucy on the 1st of February, 
I was told that in fact the county has not made any follow-up on that directive by the Senate Committee on Health and our facilities continue to be strained. At all these level five county facilities, Mr. Speaker, we have projects to expand capacity that have stalled. And in fact, uh, for the Mamalusi Hospital, there is a 344 million uh, project that was initiated by the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, Mr. Speaker, that stalled at 45%. The contractor is owed uh, 50 million shillings and therefore they are abandoned site. Mr. Speaker, the health committee of this house has been so gracious and supportive to Nairobi, they had actually scheduled a visit to these county facilities on uh, Monday the 11th uh, of March, which is just a few days uh, from today. And Mr. Speaker, the most heartbreaking thing is that on the eve of that visit, we received communication that somehow uh, the county governor had made himself busy and therefore that the committee was not welcome to tour the county facilities. I want to encourage the chair person of the health committee that because of the problems we have with Nairobi, if you go to Mbagadi, there is a project that stalled, the contractor abandoned site, he's owed 15 million shillings, Mr. Speaker. And when I complain about uh, other uses of money, uh, my colleagues have spoken about uh, foreign travel, for instance. Nairobi is one of those counties, Mr. Speaker, that is leading in foreign travel expenses. And if you compare, Mr. Speaker, what is being used for foreign travel, or even just billboards in Nairobi, we spend 20 million shillings, Mr. Speaker, for billboards in Nairobi. Yet 15 million shillings uh, is what is required to get back the contractor on site at Magathi. The situation is the same at Mutuini Hospital, Mr. Speaker, where the most ridiculous thing is happening. Uh, the Chair for Health, I wanted you to come and confirm that there is an X-ray machine at Mutuini Hospital, but it cannot be used by the people in Dagoreti South, Mr. Speaker, because we don't have doors to the room in which that X-ray uh, machine is put. And Mr. Speaker, when you speak to the management of the hospital, they will tell you that between 500,000 shillings and 700,000 shillings would get us doors at Mutuini Hospital for the X-ray room, and we would stop sending people all the way to Mbagadi just to get X-rays. 500,000 shillings, Mr. Speaker, is the value of two billboards for one month in Nairobi. It is just plain ridiculous. I want to encourage the committee and the chair of the health committee whether the governor is present or not, please come and visit these facilities and see for yourself, so as even uh, when you tackle uh, Senator Gloria's inquiry. Just come to these facilities. Don't, let's not wait for the governor because the governor is always going to find an excuse for you not to visit. I, will, I have more than enough capacity as a senator of Nairobi to host the health committee, Mr. Speaker. So I want to encourage them. Whatever the governor was going to uh, give you in terms of accommodations, if he was going to give you traffic marshals to clear the roads, I can assure you the people of Nairobi will give you the necessary support so that you are able to visit all these facilities and see for yourself so that you can help the people.